Hey, what is up y'all? Roman here and today I have another special review from our friends over at G-Way Throws. Today we are talking about the Ghidorah. Look at that thing. Absolutely gorgeous. Made of 6061 aluminum with a diameter of 56 millimeters with a 45.07. Gap width of 4.41. Weighs perfectly at the 64.6 uh, grams. Has a 12 millimeter axle. 19 millimeter pads and a center track bearing. This thing is absolutely stunning and has a ton to offer. So let's go ahead and talk about it. What is Ghidorah? Well, I want to show you the box because the box is next level cool. So um, here's the box. You can see the Ghidorah there. It's a three headed dragon and that's just super, super cool. Um, you can see gwaythrows.com at gwaythrows on um, Instagram there and again with these boxes it's always fun opening these up because they have my favorite color on the inside so it's purple love it super cool so now that we have the specs of the way um, yeah this yo-yo is really based off of a competition style throw uh, you can see it has the double rims which is actually my first yo-yo with double rims um, the double rim design um, the cup design is absolutely killer if you can see there's like some steps in there you also get a sick engraving not all of them have engraving uh, but if you want that some of them will uh, this is in the pink black purple kind of fade color and i think it's stunning mine is a b grade so it's not perfect but it's 5a so it's gonna not be perfect for uh for the rest of its life um and yeah the design is very interesting um, not only is it kind of like this, this eight shape, but there's actually like these steps in inside the wall that you can see here. Um, very interesting and, uh, and it actually feels really good on the catch. My thumb doesn't completely fit, um, completely as wide as I might like it, but it's still very comfortable, um, and totally doable. I really liked the engraving a, a ton when we talk about the design. I wasn't sure if engraving would be something that I would like in a yo-yo, uh, but I have to say when you have such a cool engraving, it kind of makes it really fun. I don't do a lot of finger spins, so I wasn't worried about that. Although I do know that uh, if you do have one without the engraving, finger spins will still be possible. Uh, maybe not the best like finger spin type of yo-yo, but also it's still possible, which is cool. Uh, I really like the, 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 the kind of the hub design there. Uh, it's, you know, G-Way kind of has a lot of the specs or uh, spikes. Let me see if I can get that in focus, golly. There we are. Uh, so kind of like, not a spike this time, more like a step, uh, rings of steps, if you will. Uh, very cool. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of the design of the yo-yo. Um, and I have to say, this yo-yo has been a lot of fun to play with. Um, but before we get to that play, I'd like to kind of mention one other cool thing about G-Way. So depending on where you order from, it's gonna be completely random. So I can't tell you order from uh, this website or their website or whatever, but um, you will have an opportunity to get a random, um, a box, I guess, let me, let me rephrase this. There's a chance, depending, if you buy the Ghidorah, brand new, A-grade, that your box may contain one of these awesome coins. The, the, I, I, I can't say enough cool things about this. Um, if you're into challenge coins, which I'm personally not, uh, but if it's something you're into, it's super cool. If not, I mean, just having something like this makes me feel super special and loved by the G-Way guys. And so I'm super thankful to have this and hopefully you guys will um, get a box that contains one. But like I said, it's completely random. So don't count on it if you get one. I hope you like it and feel special like I did. So, uh, super cool. It's kind of like a little guy on there with some claws. Um, see if I can get that to focus. There you go. So there's your look there. Again, this is just one of those touches that is above and beyond. It's very weighty. Um, just super cool. I'm, I'm going to cherish this thing for sure. Uh, so yeah, now that we're getting to the play, I want to look at a few comparisons, right? So first of all, I'm going to bring up their, the only other G-Way that I have, which is the Malivore. We reviewed this on the channel. If you haven't seen that yet, please go do so. Uh, one of my favorites so far of the year. Definitely, this is going to be one. So I only want to bring it out because if you have a Malivore, you can kind of get an idea of the size there, the looks... And, uh, and yeah, just kind of get a feel for what the yo-yo might look like in your hand. 
if you have the Malivor. Um, both very powerful, this one being a little bit more powerful. Now there's another yo-yo that it reminded me of, and I think that's because Sean actually, Sean Collins worked on this yo-yo if not designed it all. Uh, I think he designed it all, to be honest. Um, and it kind of reminded me of his yo-yo, the autopilot. So, um, wanted to bring that up. So, still a different design, uh, but similar in a lot of ways. Of course, the cups are just completely different. Let me do it this way. Um, but yeah, just if you have an autopilot, which is a great yo-yo, uh, it might be something similar to that. Now, when it came to counterweights, what I ended up kind of utilizing to begin with was the cube, the easy cube. Mostly because at 64 grams, I've told you guys before, you can put on this cube and not really have any trouble depending on your string length um, of playing 5A. So I really enjoyed that. Plus it allows me to change the string often, which I was doing. Um, the other thing I went for was an XL chunkies because I mean, although this is very competition based, um, I wanted something that was just gonna feel fun and uh, kind of just add to that. Like I have a lot of spin time going on. I can kind of do something cool with these bigger counterweights. So yeah, I thought that was a fun combo for sure. And they just, they look really good together, right? Lastly, because it is competition based, which I think is a first for G-Way, um, I want to mention what I would consider the competition um, counterweight from Chunkies. So that's gonna be the Tire GT. Um, let me see if we can get to focus, there we go. Yeah, and so this is just a, a very versatile counterweight. Uh, allows you to add the beads. You can see the tire rims on the inside there. Um, tons of colors that these come in, but you can mix, mix and match as you please. I just think that that would be a really great combo there. Um, I didn't get a chance to try it yet, but I'm assuming because it's at 64 grams, we're gonna be just fine. So yeah, those were the counterweights of choice. Of course, I recommend anything Chunkies. Uh, if you didn't know, I'm sponsored by them and would love to see some Chunkies in y'all's hands and setups. So now that we have that out of the way, let's talk about the play of this yo-yo, uh, which to no surprise, has a lot to offer. Uh, the double rim and just the rim design in general bring a lot of spin time, uh, a lot of stability, and overall a lot of power. Um, so if you are a 5A tech player, I think this yo-yo would be really great for you. Now, that being said, I was able to get my bee stings, aerials, just normal tricks that I throw all the time with a pacing that I really enjoyed. It wasn't pushing me to get done with the trick super quickly. It was actually just letting me flow with it. Um, it had a good pacing, and so that's something I can really appreciate with all the counterweights I used. It was very good at the pace. Um, some of the yo-yos and uh, counterweights that you can kind of uh, get into will push your trick to end quicker, I guess. It, it kind of like, the flow is happening much faster. And on this, it was much more like of a stable, consistent play within 5A, so very cool on that aspect. Now, there also is a beautiful engraving on my yo-yo here. Uh, let me see if I get that. Um, but you don't have to get one with the engraving. It's gonna be optional, I think, on certain colors. And because of that, you can do finger spins here. There is like this little like inner ring here. Um, and so, although you can do it with an engraved yo-yo, I think you would want to get a non-engraved if you wanted to do finger spins. The uh, inside wall here kind of has like an indent. So if you wanted to do thumb grinds, which I don't think I've talked about before, you could definitely do them on this yo-yo. Um, and yeah, it's just a ton to offer. When, when we look at the, the, the hub there, even that is just so different. Let me see. Let's see if I can get that in focus. Yeah, so you can see there's like these inner ring step uh, kind of graduation there. And so very cool. Um, and yeah, overall, it had a very good feel while playing this yo-yo. Um, the seed bearing, I had no issues with. The pads are still breaking in. I use XL strings, so it's usually a different kind of feel when I get a brand new yo-yo. A lot of the yo-yos I review on the channel are actually used yo-yo, so the pads are usually broken in already. Uh, but yeah, I don't see any problems with that. Binds are very tight with this yo-yo um, and are getting only better as I use the yo-yo. I'm not used to you, new yo-yos very often, um, so very cool to kind of experience that and just talk about it with you guys. Overall, I think that this yo-yo has um, <clears throat> kind of opened my eyes to 
a little bit more of what can be done when it comes to the pacing, which is cool. Um, I feel like the last few yo-yos that I've played um, kind of have been at a faster pace when it comes to 5A flow, but uh, this one is just a very like, I almost say it's just smooth. You know, it just has a smooth feel to it, which is very nice. The catch is a little bit, uh, it's really comfortable, but I would like a little bit wider of a catch. Personally, I have big thumbs, but I imagine that the normal sized person is gonna be able to put their thumb in here just fine and uh, catch. So it wasn't a problem, just something I'd mentioned as a personal um, kind of uh, quality that I like. So yeah, overall, I think that if you are also um, gonna play 1A with this yo-yo, you will see just how powerful it is and how much I think that it would be a competition-based yo-yo. Um, and I think that whether you're doing tech or anything like that, you're gonna have a lot of spend time to work with, um, a lot of power to work with. And yeah, so overall the Ghidorah is a beast of three heads, stability, uh, looks, and spend time. So again, my name is Roman. I really enjoy this G-Way and hope you guys will too. I believe it drops November 11th. I could be wrong, but I think that's it. And uh, I want to thank Emmanuel for uh, letting me buy one a little early and just to get it out for review for you guys. So um, yeah, I will definitely be recommending this yo-yo uh, to all of y'all. Again, my name is Roman. Great to see you guys and we will see you on the next one.